Okay, what you see here in this screen is the Arduino IDE or we call it as Integrated Development Environment which is uh, a platform for you to program your Arduino and it is a cross-platform uh, and it's a cross-platform application which you can use it in uh, Windows application or maybe in uh, Mac OS uh, and also in Linux so whatever platform you have you can still use this Arduino IDE and it is written in function uh, from C and C++ programming which uh, you have learned previously yeah. Uh, so uh, if you don't download this uh, program yet you can download it from uh, this website here so just go to the Arduino software or just search for Arduino IDE in the Google you will get into this uh, page and then just uh, click on the Windows app if you have Windows if uh, you have the others then you choose the other OS here and then download it install it it is uh, very straightforward so i don't think i need to show you how to install it uh, therefore i will directly go to this uh, arduino ide interface here uh, but if you don't install it yet you can pause this video first uh, please download and install first before you open up before you continue with this video okay uh, if you already install it then you can open your Arduino IDE so this is the interface that you should get which is a very uh, empty interface like this uh, where you can see here there are two functions here the first one is void setup and the second one is void loop yeah uh, and then there is nothing else uh, and also you can see there are a lot of uh, buttons here this one is a verify buttons upload buttons and then we have a new project buttons and then to open project but buttons and also the save buttons uh, and then there are this part here is for you to edit which we call a text 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 editor and this part here is for you to look at the uh, output uh, which we call as output pane so you can look at what if what happened uh, to your programming whether it is correct or there is error in your programming so you can just, just directly see uh, down below here uh, uh, and then we here we have this function of voice setup the function for, for this part is basically for you to set up or to initialize any variables yeah, for example uh, the imp, uh, the first values of variables any fun uh, any uh, pin assignment and so on so everything is uh, here which only to, to run once yeah, uh, and then we have this second function as you can see it says loop when it says loop means that the coding or the, the program that you write in here will always run repeatedly forever until you close the uh, until you shut down your system you shut down your arduino system huh? uh, in other words if you want your program to run continuously it will be inside here if uh, just for the first setup values it will be in this part here so uh, that is the basic of arduino ide uh, and now what we can do is uh, the easiest way is the first thing first we can open the we can open the sketchbook here and uh, the example here uh, which we can find a lot of example here uh, this is the easiest for beginner if you don't know what to do so you can just find any of the example here but what i want you to open is this first example the blink example this is to blink led which is the led on the built-in led so if uh, you remember in the previous video i said that uh, this arduino here yeah, has the built-in led if you still remember which is at the uh, here and this led here is connected to the pin 13 yeah so therefore in order for us to usually to test our Arduino whether it is functioning or not, uh, whether it is uh, still okay or broken, so we can do this first yeah, by open up this blinking uh, uh, 
blinking example here where you can see here yeah you can see here what happens is the first line here as you can see yeah, in the voice setup just now that i show is it's write this code here this code means uh, it uh, set this led built-in as output and it set the this pin as output yeah that's it as simple as that yeah uh, this is the code whatever you want to do this is the code where for you to set up any pins on the arduino as either input or output so this is the first thing and then the second one yeah, that you can see from this coding here there uh, in this void loop function yeah, which will run forever yeah which is the first line of coding here is digital write led built in high so remember in this uh, void setup we have set up the uh, led built in as output so now we set or we write the value either high or low high since this led built in is digital so the only thing that you can write is either high or low that is a digital value there is no values in between which means either a zero or a five volts so high is five volts which means it is turned on and then low is zero volt which means it is turned off so in other words we write the uh, digitally on our led built-in as high or on yeah uh, there is notes here and then we delay 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 here means it wait yeah, before it start to do another instructions yeah. so we have the first instruction here which is to set the led high and then it wait for 1000 1000 here is uh, mean meaning that it is one second so one thousand is one second or we can say one if you set one here uh, means one millisecond so one here is in one millisecond so just like that so one is one millisecond or zero point zero zero one second yeah just like that yeah or we can say one zero power of negative three second yeah. so if we want to have one second so one second meaning that 1.000 second which is which means we need to multiply by 1000 so that's why here the value is 1000 millisecond so that's it this is the value that you will put in this uh, uh, values here yeah. so that's why this part here is 1000 1000 means one second so if you want to reduce the time you want to try to reduce the delay the the uh, the periods of uh, it stays high so you just reduce the number here or if you want to make it more slower then you increase the uh, delay here so delay means it stop first or it uh, wait for the next uh, instruction for how many milliseconds yeah and then we write again as loop meaning that it turn on and then after one second it turn off after one second then it will start restart back this loop so meaning that it start to become high again and then we, uh, after one second it low again so it will keep blinking high low high low high low until the end of the uh, program so this is the basic program so now what we can do if we want to check whether this program is correct or not so just click the verify button so when you click the right button here it will compiling sketch as you can see and then this is the status and if your coding is right so as you can see here it will state as done compiling simple uh, but let's say if i remove this yeah, remember this is using c so when using based on c so don't forget this semicolon so let's say i remove this semicolon and i click back this 
verify button see it will come out with the uh, error message here uh, which is said expected uh, semicolon before digital right which means that you miss semicolon so from that uh, and it also highlight where you miss the semicolon so before the digital right before here you miss semicolon so this means that this part here has missed semicolon that's it yeah that's it that is the only way if you want to know uh, what kind of which error or which area of the codings have problems and then rerun again and it should be fine okay that is the programming so as simple as that now we can try to uh, upload uh, so now we can try to upload on your uh, uh, arduino so if you have arduino no right now with you uh, the hardware yeah then you can start to uh, connect your hardware with your computer by using this usb cable here so as you can see just connect it so this uh, lamp here this led here should be turned on and this led here it should be turned on as well not blinking yet because i already have coding here that's why it is blinking and after you connect it then you can go to the uh, tools uh, go to the tools and then search for your board so now since i already set up this uh, into the Arduino Uno so you just uh, it is already set up with the Arduino Uno but if you are not setting up yet so find Arduino Uno in this uh, list click it now you already setting up to the Arduino Uno and then choose which uh, which com at which ports you communicate your Arduino Uno with the uh, computer with your computer for me it says the COM4 yeah let's say if you have a lot of uh, uh ports here showing up in your uh choice here so what you can do here you can go to the device manager yeah so you can directly go to the device manager by going to the pc or just directly search for device manager yeah. so you can find the ports here and then find which ports that has stated Arduino Uno yeah. uh, for me because this is the only ports that I connected uh, with the something else and that's why it only stated here as Arduino Uno here uh, this is in case if you don't find your Arduino in Uno in the or you don't know which port is your Arduino Uno then since it stated there as COM4 then we choose here as COM4 that's it yeah. simple okay so when you have already uh, choose your com ports now is it should stay here the arduino uno on com port so now you are ready to upload so just click upload and then wait for it compiling uploading and if nothing uh, no error it says done compiling and now recheck your arduino your arduino uno now is blinking okay so this part here is blinking in every one second so that's it as simple as that yeah so as simple as that uh, nothing else uh, uh, this is the first steps whenever you get your arduino this is the first first step that you can do in order to check whether your Arduino is function correctly, can upload your program or not, eh? and then uh, after you have verified this thing, then you can start to program your Arduino. Eh? And I said just now that this LED built-in uh, uh, is on the pin 13, so maybe we can change this into 13, eh? and try to check, eh? try to check back whether it can still works or not yeah. and as uh, pre like previously just click upload or verify first if you want to check whether your coding is correct or not so now as you can see after the uh, programming has been uploaded it's still blinking why because this uh, led here is connected to pin 13 okay 
So as simple as that. This is if you want to use uh, the pin 13 or just want to blink the built-in LED. For that, I will stop here for now. Uh, and then if you this is too basic for you, uh, too easy for you, you can just directly go to click to the next video and watch the next video. If it is too hard for you now or you still lost, you can always go in back, uh, rewind back several times and then you can ask me uh, if you have problems, no worries. But if you still think it, uh, this is too hard, you want something easy to read, something easy to follow, you can always get my book here, Electronic Systems Programming. Yeah. Uh, so this book is the simplest one uh, that's why it is uh, quite cheap yeah, uh, and uh, not too too thick yeah. so easy for you to follow for those who really beginner who really need something to start with promote my book again i uh, hope you don't mind yeah. again if you have any problems any questions anything uh, just ask me don't worry uh, if you have uh, if you have no uh, problems then you can directly continue with the next video and that's it for me thank you very much for your attention uh, on this video and as usual stay safe stay curious and stay joyful i'm ikhwan may god bless you assalamualaikum